this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this card with the Nature's Harvest Bundle. Alright, this is the Nature's Harvest Bundle which is part of the Harvest Meadow Suite. You could find it in the mini catalog on page 54 and 55 and it's got all these gorgeous samples and this suite has so much in it. It has the bundle and then we've got this beautiful diamond, uh, let's see, what are they calling this? Ribbon or weave ribbon. And you can color it if you want to with the blends markers. So that's fun about that. There's the Time Worn Type 3D embossing folder. So it's a thick embossing folder and it creates this really cool texture on your card. And I have another video in which I show you how I use this embossing folder. There's also the brushed metallic adhesive backed dots, which are also very fun and pretty to use. And last but not least, the Harvest Meadow Designer Series Paper, which is really pretty and has all these great designs in it. So you can see all these fun colors that they have in the paper. So, I'm gonna show you how I made this card. I just loved this uh, soft succulent paper and it kind of reminded me of the uh, embossing folder a little bit um, instead of like a, I think it's kind of like a sans serif font in here. That's what it looks like. And uh, we've got a script font on the DSP, so really pretty okay so to start I just have some evening evergreen which is four and a quarter by eleven and folded in half scored at five and a half and then this piece of DSP is four by five and a quarter so I'm just gonna go ahead and attach that with some seal and uh, love that it has two different sides that you can choose from but I really like this side and I think it looks really nice with the evening evergreen paper so I paired it up with that and then I also cut out uh, from the dies this uh, die right here the evening evergreen and I thought that was pretty to put back here so I have that and then I uh, included a piece of the new 12 by 12 cork and I forgot to show you that, but that's also in the suite. Um, you get two 12 by 12 sheets of cork and it's uh, cork on thin paper. And so it's really fun because it, it feels like cork because it's real cork. And so we're gonna put that on here as well. Um, that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere this down as well. And then the most fun part is the flower stamp. So I'll put that down later. So for the flower stamp, um, just get like a piece of two and a half by four and a quarter. And I have colored it uh, with the markers, um, just the regular markers. So I'm using um, an evening evergreen for the stems. And after I color these, then I will color the after I stamp it, I'll color it in with the blends markers and I'll use the regular markers too to add some detail and texture. So it's really nice to use uh, the markers and the blends markers in conjunction with each other. Makes the flowers that you're stamping really pretty. So I'm gonna get up in there. So that's the Evening Evergreen. Okay. So I used soft suede for the top of these two flowers. So I colored them in soft suede. And then I used a Cajun Craze, a Pumpkin Pie, and Daffodil Delight. Let me grab those. So um, I started with the Cajun Craze and I colored uh, the bottom of this flower. So we're gonna add multiple colors. And I did kind of the top, the inside of the leaves here. And then I did pumpkin pie. And I just kind of colored right next to the Cajun craze. 
Same thing over here. And then I did Daffodil Delight last. So I'm just gonna color the Daffodil Delight on the edges of the flowers. And it creates this nice blend of colors. Okay, so now I'm gonna stamp this right on here. Okay, so doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but when we color it in, it's gonna become super beautiful. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of dark evening evergreen, and I'm just gonna kind of line the sides a little bit. Just add some more in here, maybe some down here, because that might be darker. Just add a tiny bit over here and over here. It's nice to stamp it and then you have like guidelines that you can use when you're coloring, right? Okay, and add some dark over here, add some dark over here and here. So you can kind of go in and just add dark wherever you would like it and then color the rest in with the lighter color. And you can kind of blend, make everything smooth. Nice. I'm just using the soft suede regular marker to add back some of the dots and texture to the top of the flower and it looks really cool when you add the dots So then you'll just use the die to cut it out. And then you'll get this. Then you can add that to your card. And just gonna stamp thank you. And evening evergreen. And now we can assemble the card. And last but not least, I'm gonna add some of this lovely ribbon. And uh, it is a little bit bulky, so 
might want to just give this card to someone local so you don't have to mail it. But uh, this is just an extra. You don't have to include it if you don't want to, but I just, I liked having the bow there. I think it's nice. So I'm going to grab a couple glue dots. See if I can just do it with one glue dot here. Right there. And there is our Nature's Harvest card. I'm offering a free card kit when you place an order of $50 and you use my current host code. Just email me and let me know that you would like the Nature's Harvest card kit and I will send it right out to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on the Nature's Bundle, which is part of the Harvest Meadow Suite. Please uh, check out my other videos by uh, subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I post a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.